So you don't know how to go from this to this. Not a problem. Now, if you suck at drawing and you don't have enough money to hire your own concept artist, then Google Images is gonna be your concept artist. While you cannot copy anything directly, you can take inspiration from bits and pieces of other designs in order to mix them together and create something new. When I was designing Exa to be the personification of a macrophage, I always imagined white blood cells like soldiers trying to defend the body against terrorist infections. So the first thing that came to my mind was Storm and clone troopers from Star Wars. And that gave me the idea to go with a more sci-fi, future tech looking design for the character. And once I had that, the very first step of character design is collecting all the concepts. So I just went online and found a whole bunch of cool pictures of all the futuristic techno girl designs I could find. Then I divided the pictures into three categories. Base body, armor, and weapons. Now the very first thing you have to do is design the base body. The base body is basically a bodysuit. It's the foundation for everything, and if you want the armor to look good, it has to hug the bodysuit correctly. A lot of people were asking me how I came up with the design for the bodysuit, and if you were asking this question, you were thinking way too hard. So here's the trick. The silhouette of the female body is scientifically the most aesthetically appealing shape in the entire world. It turns out that not only do guys enjoy looking at beautiful women, but women also enjoy looking and beautiful women. That is why when corporations want to advertise to women, they generally put women on the cover of women's magazines instead of men. Unlike how when they want to get a man's attention, they know that all they have to do is show us a picture of a beautiful woman next to a beautiful car, and we'll never turn the goddamn page. Anyway, my point is, if you are trying to make your character look feminine, the bodysuit should avoid breaking that silhouette as much as possible. So all you have to do as the modeler is decide where you want to draw the lines of detail. And the best way to find out where those lines should be is to look at professional fashion design swimsuits. Like for real. Find a swimsuit with the style you're looking for, then start imagining how you can combine it with the concept art that you've been collecting. A lot of girls get real creative with cosplay too, so that's another great place to get inspiration from for your designs. These were the images that I picked for her design, and the swimsuit that I thought had the best looking shape was this one here. Now what I liked about this design was the top had a very distinct shape. Instead of the normal brassiere shape, it's more like an X shape or a butterfly. The angle for the cleavage is also pretty classy. It's not too much, but it's not too shy either. And instead of leaving the waist bare and empty like most bikinis, the whole thing kind of wraps around her body, leaving the front open, and then comes back together on her sides and her back. I really like this idea, so on my design, I kind of inverted it. So instead of the suit wrapping her body in the front, it actually comes together and wraps this shape around her back. Once that was decided, I went through the rest of the pictures and discovered her legs looked a lot better when the V angle down here was a little more pronounced. And when you average all the pictures together, you can see that long glove and thigh high long boots and heels are always a win. So the basic lines for the detail are gonna look something like this. Once you have identified your design, all you gotta do is cut those details into the base body and get your rough draft started. Before you start, I recommend deleting the entire left side of the body and using the mirror modifier so that you can focus on just one side. And set the pivot points to median point. The reason we are doing things this way is because Blender's topology Mirror X is beyond busted and useless for low to mid poly modeling. It it's supposed to allow you to mirror your workflow on both sides, but it doesn't realize when you've cut new faces, it doesn't recognize when you've merged points, and it completely ignores when you extrude and create new vertices. All of which are techniques you need to have as a low to mid poly modeler. Don't ask me why, people have been complaining about this for years, and it never gets fixed. Alright, let's model. Rule number one. Always do the easy things first. We know she's gonna have long gloves and long boots. So in this tutorial, that is all we're gonna do. Just take it nice and slow. There's no need to bite off more than you can chew, let's carve the edges of the gloves first. Click the body, tab to edit mode, and with the loop cut tool, chop the area you think the glove would end. Alright, here's your first trick. After you chop, you can slide the points along the edges by pressing G, G. Don't be picky, just guesstimate, and once you've placed the end of the gloves, the easiest way to make them pop out is with another cut. So loop cut one more time, double G to slide it up, and then press S to scale it up just a tiny bit. And bam, you're done. Select all the faces in this area, change the color, and and now she's wearing gloves. And you're gonna use the exact same process to create the edge of her high boots. Sometimes if the topology isn't full quads, the loop cut tool won't always work, but when this happens, you can use the cut tool to manually complete the edge loop like so. Remember, if you wanna fix where a point is, you can always double G to slide it up and down an edge to keep the original shape. And honestly, that's 
pretty much it. Like, it, it doesn't really get more complicated than this. Pretty boring, I know. But while you are waiting for the next video, I want you to take that knife tool and mark all the detail lines where you want the suit to pop out. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you a few tricks that you can use to start bringing out some depth to your character. All right, well, I hope that helps. Don't forget to ring that bell. That's the only way you'll know when I upload new stuff. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.